Hello everyone and welcome to another WIST technology tutorial. In today's lesson I'm going to be diving deeper into curriculum mapping with Google Apps. For those of you who've been following my adventures in curriculum mapping with Google Apps, um, I'd just like to share with you a brief uh, discovery I've made uh, just recently um, in terms of making your curriculum available um, and searchable uh, to your faculty and administrators. So here's how it goes. Essentially, I'm taking this concept of the file cabinet view um, available through Awesome Tables. This is their, their website. And if you scroll down just a bit, you come to the step-by-step -step tutorial and you can click on the spreadsheet, spreadsheet which opens this one. Now what this is, is a sample of a spreadsheet that has pulled essentially information from all of the files located in one Google Drive, right? So notice that one of the columns here is hidden. So if you go ahead and you make a copy of this, not only will you see column B, but you will also have access to the script that is installed on the spreadsheet allowing it to generate this information. So notice here, list files is available. And if I click on select folder, it will allow me to choose a folder in my own drive and populate the spreadsheet with this information. So as I said before, uh, column B is hidden. And this is actually kind of, of interesting because I want to show you what this is. So this is the document ID um, of the file in that Google Drive. Now the only reason this is important to me is because in my curriculum mapping process I've been distributing templates via Autocrat, right? So the faculty fills out a form and then a template is sent out and all of that information is stored in this spreadsheet. So there's 331 unit templates that are currently out there in the wild. But you should notice uh, that on this spreadsheet as well, the document key is listed. So what I've been able to do is modify the file cabinet view. Uh, if you look at this, so this gives you some good information. Um, but not enough to be an effective mapping tool. So I've been able to essentially merge the data given to me via the file cabinet view with the data provided in my sheet through the Autocrat merge. And that looks exactly like this here. Um, so here we go. So you're gonna notice in my sheet, I have a lot more info. I've got editors. In this case, this would be like co-teachers, uh, people who are also contributing to developing the units that are uh, in the curriculum. Um, of course, there's the last updated date. And then I've also added, this is where the information has come from the Autocrat spreadsheet. Um, and this has been done through a simple uh, an array formula. So if we look at here, all of this information is being introduced through this array formula VLOOKUP. And what this is doing is simply um, looking up the document ID and testing it against this import, which is an import range of essentially my Autocrat spreadsheet. So all of this, this is the exact same thing as this right here. So I've imported that data and that formula is simply looking up this document key and then pulling the columns that are to the right of it as I've asked for them. So based on their index. So 
the subject area has an index of one. So I'm looking that up and pulling that up into the file cabinet. And then the end result, of course, is all of this information is available on my Google site, which is now uh, searchable, filterable through these awesome table filters. So I can, I can narrow things down by, by courses. I can narrow things down by teacher name or, or multiple teacher names, subject area. And with one click of a button, um, I can actually be inside of a unit. The other really nice advantage of using uh, Google Apps to map curriculum is that it's, it's open to comments. Um, so your curriculum co coordinator or administrator can go in and kind of give you some suggestions regarding, uh, as you can see here, Jim has gone in and, and added some feedback regarding uh, this particular unit. Um, so it's, it's a great way to create a collaborative space to um, document, not only document, but also manage and um, share the curriculum uh, with others in a very easy to use interface. So the other cool thing is you can also, um, we have a system of cycles per year um, on an eight day cycle. So we can actually narrow the search, you know, if we want to look halfway in the middle of the year, these are the things that are kind of going on, um, so to speak. So there's there's multiple ways of looking at the the school uh, through the lens of curriculum um, using a tool like this. So so essentially, I'm just sharing with you the idea of expanding upon the existing file cabinet view to make it. Uh, useful for educators in documenting and mapping their curriculum. Thanks for watching. Bye.